because earlier we just got done talking about how ninjutsu needs to be taught within the warrior class, right? Samurai trained in ninjutsu. A ninja is a samurai spy trained in ninjutsu, right? That, that's what a ninja is. And so here what we're going to be doing, we're going to be talking about specific things that I think are um, needed to know and kind of like the idea of the mindset of the ninja, if you will. And then we're going to start working on warrior techniques in between. So we're going to kind of go back and forth because there is a difference between a conventional warrior and an unconventional warrior. But a conventional warrior, even though they both learn knife techniques, right? I mean, you'd have a, I'm going to use words that everyone uses. They're stereotypical words, and I am going to use these words incorrectly. But the majority of people watching this video on YouTube would probably think I'm using the words correctly. So if you have a samurai and a ninja, right? <laughs> Already, look at you laughing like, oh shit. Anyway, if a samurai does conventional warfare, he's going to learn Tanto Jutsu. Knife fighting. If a ninja does unconventional warfare, they're going to do Tanto Jutsu. The intent behind the method is what makes it conventional or not conventional. The environment, the intent, what you're using it for. Yes, a ski is a ski. If I have a knife, I thrust, ski is ski. No question. But what's the mission? When you're looking at warfare, you've got conventional warfare, unconventional warfare. And how you use your warrior tactics is what determines whether you're going to use these warrior skills conventionally, right, or unconventionally. That's where you get bujutsu, or conventional warfare, and ninjutsu, unconventional warfare. And we're going to talk about the way, and you guys know that I talk about the way all the time, the way of the warrior, and we should try to live our lives to the way, right? There should be a certain level of excellence that we live our lives to. You catch what I'm saying? In the Bonsen Shikai, it is written, you should not serve a foolish Lord who does not use the right path from the beginning. This is the principle for all ninshi, or shinobi no samurai. If you know that the person that you're serving is not doing things in a, in a good way, in a positive way, they're not following the way, they're not doing accordance to the way, you shouldn't be serving them. You shouldn't serve someone who's evil. You shouldn't serve someone who's hateful, right? He, of course, he's using the, the way as this descriptive word, but that's kind of in its essence, it's what that is. You're not serving an evil lord, a mean lord, a hateful lord, a... Right? You want to serve someone who has a good heart and they mean well. They're doing things according to the way. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you have people that they don't differentiate between what they're supporting to the act of that of which the person is speaking. As an example, they're going to say, like, I'm going to be part of this group. Whatever this group can be. You guys can figure out your own group. You're talking what you want. But this group here. So they want to be part of this group. But the leader of this group is doing some really hateful shit. Saying really hateful shit. Right? You shouldn't be part of that group because now you're associated with really hateful shit. That's not the way. All of us live our own lives. We all have our own likes and dislikes in life. I don't want any one of you guys, you guys should all do your own thing individually. But realize you have to do it for a true purpose. Don't do it because everybody else is doing it. Make your own decision on what is correct and what is not. 